Iraqi language and culture was in Vermont long before it was called mm -hmm. Vermont. And today, initiatives to preserve the language and the culture are underway in Middlebury. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live in the studio with an update on a Middlebury College program that began back in 2020. Hey, Good morning, Dom and Alexandra. Abenaki is an endangered Eastern Algonquin language spoken from Lake Champlain to Maine. In 2020, Middlebury collaborated with language keeper Jesse Bowman Bruchock to launch the Abenaki Language School. This morning, more than two dozen students are getting ready to kick off the first day of the two-week Live in Language program. Abenaki language and culture leaders are welcoming 33 students ranging in ages 18 to 76 from all over the country and Canada to Middlebury College to learn the Abenaki language. The perfect time to learn the language is, is when you're young from your parents. Um, the other great time is right now. Jesse Bowman Bruchak is an Abenaki language keeper who has dedicated decades to reclaiming, preserving and sharing the language. We have lost so many speakers. Uh, in, in my time from 92 until now that, uh, that I've worked with first language speakers who we have lost all of them now. He says Middlebury approached him with this idea kicking off in summer 2020 where 24 students learned on Zoom. Since then the program has grown and they're beginning their third in-person summer. We have to prepare to take the pledge which is behind me. I make a promise to myself uh, to honor the pledge, to please uh, honor the pledge and only speak in language. The language pledge is honored campus-wide all summer for each respective language program. But it can be challenging for Abenaki language learners during downtime. There is not a lot of media support. We don't have a lot of songs and on radio or Spotify or Netflix or anything within the um, Western Abenaki language. But Associate Director Carrie Royce Wood notes the emphasis of the program is activity-based learning. Her specialty is cultural activities like basket weaving made out of black ash and sweet grass, where learners are only speaking in language and learning cultural skills too while maintaining the pledge. We have, you know, frisbees and balls and foursquare and any types of outdoor games, but as well as card games and UNO and things modified where we've been able to kind of remove the English language from the resources that we're using and able to recreate within language. Royce Wood says there's not a lot of books available either and has worked with the Middlebury community since 2020 to publish this picture book illustrating how to make a corn husk doll. Culture and language go hand in hand and both educators say this is progress to continue to share and preserve the Abenaki language and culture. There are not many fluent speakers but there's a whole lot more people speaking the language of Nadakana now because of this community. And that program will continue for the next two weeks on Middlebury's campus. Live in the studio, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.